contact bearing 091, range indefinite. Most likely a U-boat, sir. The Battle of the Atlantic is everything that happened in the Atlantic Ocean from the moment World War II began. There were thousands of ships that were operating at any given moment, trying to make the perilous journey from the Western Hemisphere to Britain, sending what was needed to liberate Europe. You both stomach bow! And they were all would-be targets of the Nazi submarines. Huffduff reports a German transmission bearing 087 degrees, range 15 to 20 miles. These convoys would have to make long zigzagging courses, hopefully avoiding the submarines, but they were reduced to the speed of the slowest ship in the convoy. And the Nazi submarines were just as fast when they were on the surface. Con combat, looks like our friends come up for fresh air and to maintain speed with us. Contact bearing 207, range three miles. Early in the war, the American ships had radar. They could see what was on the surface, but it was a spotty radar. It often didn't work very well. What's going on? I don't know, sir. I can't get a good read. So you're relying on your eyes, much like a guy with binoculars on the bridge, with sonar and hydrophones relying on your ears. Got him. Contact close. Starboard beam 083. Now, Mr. Lopez! Fire, fire! All those things can play tricks with you over time. Sonar bridge, anything further? Still stationary, possible decoy. Sonar reports, contact is not moving, possible decoy. Yet another challenge was how primitive communication was between parts of the ship to the captain. Contact bearing starboard. Contact range starboard 012, range 600 yards, sir. Mr. Lopez, stand by with a medium pattern. Men and ready, sir. It was a guy's job to repeat what they just heard to the captain or repeat what the captain just told them to whoever he's talking to. And it has to be exact. Contact now bears port 012, range 1,000 yards of closing. <laughs> you gonna do that again? No, sir. If so, you will be relieved. Aye, aye, sir. Ideally, a convoy goes across the ocean without ever talking to anybody but themselves. Any radio signal going from the convoy to headquarters, you didn't want to send those out because if anybody was listening, they'd know where you were. Do I break the radio silence with a message to the Admiralty? Every ship was on their own. We are running, we are running down, down a target. target. Let us attend our duty as well. This, this is what we train for. There have been movies about World War II, but we expanded it. Embracing the details, but at the same time, tying those details into the human story. What do we rely on in order to get us through this? We'll bring hell down from on high. Our movie puts a magnifying glass on the history of the Battle of the Atlantic. Here they come. Hey Lisa, here with more on Tom Hanks. Now the actor is no stranger to winning awards for his acting abilities. And he, along with Spencer Tracy, remain the only two actors to have won back-to-back -back Oscars. Hanks being for Philadelphia in 1993 and Forrest Gump in 94. At the age of 45, he also became the youngest ever to receive the American Film Institute's Life Achievement Award on June 12, 2002. Now, do you like my t-shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.